early matter He will be starting soon Oh, oh, oh. Story time with Mr. Lumada Where all your dreams come true Oh, oh, oh. He brings to life your favorite stories With a great big smile You won't leave lonely Won't you start all the reading I just can't wait to be hearing Story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh, oh, oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. He brings to life. Your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be here. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. And you know the Friday dance is in the house. Good morning to you and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. I am glad we're here together as always. And I hope that you've had a wonderful week. I hope that this Friday is definitely the one that creams it all up, tops it all up. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. How are you doing today? Where are you joining us from? And who is joining in with you? Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope that you will have a great week, after, a great Friday after this, and of course, a great weekend or coming up. Thank you so much for joining in and welcome to Storytime. Please, as always, let me know who is with you and where you're joining us from. And please do send in those recommendations as you come across those wonderful books that you're reading. Let me know, let me know, and we may try to bring some of them right here on Storytime. Thank you for joining in here in Oakland. It is gray, still gray, morning gray, but I'm sure it will open up a little later with some sunshine. And I hope that you have sunshine where you are too. How are you doing today? Thank you for being here. And we have a special book, of course, to read together. And this one is The Fox and the Forest Fire. This one is written and illustrated by Danny Popovici. And I love it. And I hope that you enjoy it too. Great lesson in there for all of us. Good morning to you and welcome to Storytime. And we're reading this one with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Yes, this one coming out of their full catalog. Do check that out. But for now, we will be getting ready for this one. The Fox and the Forest Fires. Good morning to you and welcome to Storytime. All right. Who is with us this morning? Terry and Abraham, I must say, I saw you were in way ahead of time. Thank you so much for joining in oh my goodness yes goes 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 you are you're inspiring me right there maybe i'll be early to my next thing <laughs> Thank you for joining in, Terry McLeod, Kasweka, and of course, uh, Abraham out in San Leandro. Thank you so much for joining in today. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Good morning to you, Gary, baby Theo, and Kate in Pittsburgh. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for joining in. Story time. Appreciate you, and I hope that you are doing well. Good to see you here happy friday and of course wishing you a wonderful weekend to come thank you so much for being here good morning to you <laughs> good morning to you baby b oh how are you doing today great to see you yesterday thank you so much for joining in story time amanda how are you doing today out in drizzly seattle well enjoy it enjoy it i'm sure you know how to navigate all that thank you so much for joining in today and you say hi everyone and happy friday absolutely you heard that loud and clear from baby b happy friday everybody yes indeed thank you so much for joining us today <laughs> good morning to you and happy friday sarah and nathan and of course indy out in illinois thank you so much for joining in indy is on our way to our first checkup 
after story time or oh, indeed we hope that you take all that story time fun and you your check up is a breeze thank you so much for being here on story time absolutely appreciate you meow meow yes that is directly at indy only she will understand <laughs> good morning to you one more time sarah and nathan and of course amanda west how are you doing today thank you for joining us out in seattle thank you yes 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 indeed yes yes <laughs> terry mcleod indeed indeed feeling feeling the zambian joy here the zambian pride for sure thank you so much for joining in and sharing that one absolutely appreciate each and every one of you that is here with us today we have a great great book indeed that we're reading together the fox and the forest fire this one is written and illustrated by Danny Popovici and of course we are reading it with permission of the publishers Chronicle Books of San Francisco are you ready for this one all right and uh, before we get started too good morning to you Sharon Lungo how are you doing and Soraya trying to stay, to stay up oh, to wake up well thank you for joining in I am glad you're here I hope that we wake you up and get you ready for your day thank you for joining in story time at this early hour i hope that you can have your breakfast too with us and we enjoy the book together thank you for being here good to see you here thank you thank you soraya and of course sharon lungo good to see you on story time thank you so much to those that are joining us at 11 a.m pacific time good morning to you how are you doing today and i hope that you have a wonderful day have been having a wonderful day and the rest of it is good as well thank you so much for joining in Ellen Edwards in Chicago, always a mention. Harmony Beth in Alameda, how are you doing? Rocco Clay and Chriselle in Long Beach, and many, many more. Henry in Harvard, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining in. All right, we're going to get started with today's book. Oh my goodness, we're in for a treat. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Hello, I'm Olalu Ogunyemi officer in the United States Marine Corps and author of Crow from the Shadow. You are tuned in with my brother on Storytime with Mr. LaMotta. Enjoy and God bless. All right, here we go. The Fox and the Forest Fire, written and illustrated by Danny Popovici. And we're reading this one with permission of the publishers, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Are you ready? All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, the Fox and the Forest Fire. Danny, written and illustrated by Danny Popovici and read with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Whoa. I wasn't sure I would like my new home. Hmm. Have you moved before? How did you feel about your new home? How did you feel about leaving your old home? I wasn't sure I would like my new home. Oh. Why? Well, nights are too quiet. Have you been to a place like that? Mornings are too loud. Oh. <laughs> too quiet nights, too loud mornings. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? I hike with my mom. My backpack, my pack gets tangled. I trip over rocks and a bug flies into my mouth twice. I don't like this place. I don't like this place. Oh, but you get to hike with mom. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Such a beautiful place. <laughs> oh. In time, I discover there are a lot of things to do in the forest. I build rock dams where small fish can rest. Oh. 
I study bugs and the plants that house them. Oh, wow. So much to do in the forest. <laughs> oh. And there are new friends to me. Oh, you play here too? Who's there? Oh, who's that? Whoa, is that a new friend? Oh, I want to be your friend too. Oh. <laughs> oh, doesn't that look so fun? I want to play too. <laughs> I feel welcome in my new home. Oh, that is so sweet. I love that. I feel welcome in my new home. Yes. Oh, I hope more people feel welcome in their new homes. Then one morning, it's strangely quiet. What's going on? I see a plume of smoke off in the distance. Hmm, what could it be? I love that word, plume. A plume of smoke off in the distance. What is going on? What do you think? Hmm. I hurry to warn my mother. Oh, run quick. What could it be? And I wonder if we will ever see our home again. Oh. Yeah. I hope you get to see it too. Oops. Sorry about that. I wonder if we'll ever get to see our home again. Oh. All the animals need a safe place. Even after a late season rain, we have to wait a long time before we are allowed to go home. Even after a late season rain, we have to wait a long time before we are allowed to go home. Oh. Our house is gone. But most importantly, we are safe. Yeah, I'm glad you're safe. While things don't look like they did before, the forest knows what to do after a fire. Oh, look at that. While things don't look like they did before, the forest knows what to do after a fire. And you know what? Oh, and so do we. Oh, absolutely. Oh. The rebuilding begins. The end. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today for this very special book. I hope that it reminds us of what goes on around us, the fires that have happened here in California and around the world and how people are affected by those fires, but also the resilience that comes with that, the rebuilding that comes with that, and that remember there are things that even fires can burn. So thank you so much for joining me for this one. I hope that we're encouraged today to remember to be safe out there and also to remember that if there are places that we can help in any way, whether being there physically or somehow financially, if we can help material, why don't we do that so that we can make this world better for everybody? Thank you so much for joining in. I know that fires are raging out there and with 
thank you, thank you so much to the firefighters and all the emergency workers that are doing amazing things out there. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. A great one indeed to inspire us to think about our world and how we take care of it. Thank you for being here and I hope that you will join me again next week for more exciting books, more wonderful books, more lessons to share together. Thank you so much for being here. This has been Storytime for today. The Fox and the Forest Fire. And this one is written and illustrated by Danny Popovich and published and read with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining in today. A wonderful book indeed and one that teaches us a vital lesson. I really appreciate this one. And just the thoughts in there, wondering whether you see your home again and wondering all those animals out there who will take care of them as their home keeps shrinking and shrinking. What can we do to play our parts to make it better? Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. I hope that you enjoyed that one. I hope that you have questions and lots of questions that we can try and get to answer together, find answers to, and see what we can do. Thank you so much for being here. Wonderful book indeed. I am encouraged. I am inspired to look up more and see what I can do. So I encourage you to do the same. Thank you so much for being here on Storytime time today happy friday indeed to each and every one of you for joining us today thank you to everybody that was here it's absolutely good to see you again back here soraya i hope you are staying awake for that one thank you thank you for being here great story indeed and of course uh one that definitely moves our hearts into thinking what we can do what can i do to help thank you so much for joining in story time today amanda waltman thank you for being here baby b great to see you early in the morning marlin have a great day nate Thank you, thank you so much for being here. Good morning to you. Sheba Chanda, how are you doing out in Lusaka, Zambia? Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. I hope you enjoyed that one. A great one indeed. Let us all remember forest fires. What can we do to help prevent them? Or oh, indeed, we know that they will happen. What can we do to push our legislators to make sure that those people that are making decisions are taking care, making decisions that will help us in the long run, not just now, but that will help us in the future as well. Thank you so much for joining in. We have a responsibility as citizens to follow up on our leaders and hold them accountable. Yes, but also as communities coming together in helping rebuild, helping support our colleagues and friends who've been affected by fires. So, Thank you so much for being here on Storytime today. Always a pleasure to be here together, to learn from each other and to encourage each other. Thank you so much for being here. And a big, big thank you today to Danny Popovici for this wonderful, wonderful book and wonderful lesson therein. Thank you so much for being here on Storytime. I am so glad we're here together. We had a powerful lineup here this week. Week two of the Chronicle Books Fall Catalog. Please do join me next week. We have another great lineup coming up so please please don't miss join in if you miss us at seven you're not an early bird please catch us at 11 we're back right here on story time and enjoy the stories remember to leave a comment so that i'm sure to say hi to you even if you're watching the recorded version thank you thank you for being here have a wonderful day. Friday is here. I hope that you are getting some rest over the weekend. I hope that you get to have fun with your loved ones. And of course, spare a thought for those in the world that don't have as much as we do. Thank you so much for being here. Everybody joining in story time today. Sarah and Nathan, thank you for joining us out in Illinois. Indy, we wish you the very best for your checkup. I hope everything is okay. I am sure everything is okay. Thank you so much for joining in. And out in Drizzly, Drizzly Seattle, wishing you the very best. And yes, fry yay for everybody. Thank you to you, baby B. And of course, Amanda, thank you so much for joining in story time. Oh, Terry, yes, indeed. If only I could shake that Zambian time, but we'll see. We're getting there. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in. Gary, baby Theo, and Kate in Pittsburgh. Thank you so much for joining in, Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. And today, just a reminder as well, first through the door. Yes, Abraham, have a great weekend yourself. Thank you so much for joining in. Happy, happy Friday, as you say. Terry, Abraham, thank you for joining us out in San Leandro. Thank you so much for being here on Storytime today. 
please be sure to join me on Monday, uh, same time, 7 a.m. Pacific time and also 11 a.m. Pacific time. We'll be right here enjoying stories together. Absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. And before we go, please do join me on the other side of this. Hey, this is Timothy Goodspeed of the Soapbox Salute. I'm the one who wrote Storytime's theme song. If you'd like to hear more of my protest folk music, you can check out the links below on Instagram or at my website. You are watching Storytime with Mr. LaMotta. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. I will be back again on Monday with more stories. Have a wonderful day. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Um, big hugs to each and every one of you. Please remember out there, thank you to all our emergency workers. Please remember that there are ways that we can help our communities. Write a letter to those leaders. There are ways we can do this. Vote when voting time comes. If you can, please make sure to participate so your voice is heard. And let us make sure, too, that our tax dollars are going to things that matter, things that are important so let us play our parts out there and for those little kids out there always be there we know that you will do the right thing you know that you are the leaders coming up and we are hoping that you are going to be making this world even better thank you so much for joining in and i will see you again on monday much love from me bye-bye <laughs>